Then Exchange is a transparent marketplace for selling, buying and donating mobile data packages. Dent Wireless was founded in 2014 and based in Hong Kong. Dent claims that mobile data is a commodity that needs to be liberated. So, in this interview we have Taro Katayanen, CEO and founder of Dent Wireless, which is having its stocking sale on the 12th of July 2017. Hi Taro, this is Alan. Hi Alan, thanks for having me. Nice to have you here, Taro. Can you please tell us, what is the idea, or if I may say, the mission of Dent? The mission of Dent? is to liberate the mobile data. Right now it's been dictated by the mobile operators. You can decide what you pay for, how you get it, if you can sell it, and even where you use it. We are going to change all of that. Tara, can you please explain to our viewers how the Dant exchange for mobile data works? The idea is to have a common marketplace, a global marketplace for mobile data packages. The telcos can place their mobile data packages for sale in there and the users can buy it from there. And the users that have excess data that they don't need can also sell it in the same exchange. Sounds good, but why would the telco join the Dent marketplace? It's quite disruptive for telcos, isn't it? Yes, it is disruptive. That's a, that's a good thing. It means new opportunities, new business models are emerging. This is a new world. Move on! Can you please tell us how your team came together and from which areas? This project seems to be a big one. It is a big project and it has many phases. Um, we needed to find the people who were very best on the field, so like telcos, blockchain, payments and the founders who can pull this off. And we found them and that's our team. How can the users get access to Dan tokens and become members of the Dan community? That's quite easy. All you need to do is to have a telephone with a phone number and our app on it. You just go to the app, keep your phone number and click on join. That's it. What do you mean with the data liberation, Taro? Currently, the operators are basically keeping their customers hostage. They decide how the packages are, if they expire, what they cost, all of that. When the packages are in dead exchange, the price is dynamically set by the users and the telcos. And uh, if you have a package there that doesn't have good rules to it, it expires too early or something, nobody's gonna buy it. So it will just vanish from the market. This is an open market. We're just going to liberate it by being open. There is a very interesting point in your white paper where you talk about gigabits for Africa. Then users can help the United Nations to enable mobile access in developing countries by donating their unused data to the people that need it. Can you please explain what that means? Well, the UN has these uh, sustainable development goals, one of which uh, takes issue with the uh, rule of access to Internet. These days that means having mobile data, because there's no other access to Internet. Now, there are many areas in the world that don't have any access. There's no mobile data either. But with the data, data exchange, we can actually push the operators, the telecos, uh, to build towers there to extend the access to them by enabling people to donate those mobile data packages. That will create an incentive for the telecos to build capacity in those rural areas. Your company Dant Wireless is planning a token sale on the 12th of July. What are your expectations for that? We hope to sell as many Dent tokens as we can because these are going to be the fuel for the Dent Exchange and we want them to be spread worldwide. So we want to, as many people as uh, we can to buy them, to spread them around the globe. And at the same time, we want to secure the funding for our company, for the development, uh, for the telco contracts. There's a lot of work to do. Taro, it was so nice to talk to you. All the best to your talk and sale on the 12th of July. And see you next time. Thank you for having me. It was fun. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>